was I was tempted to ask you if you remembered to stop it from last time. I did. I, I tried to remind you, and you uh, <laughs> you were like, "No, we're just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna keep let going. it go." But I I didn't. Yeah, I did end up stopping it. <laughs> oh God! Now that, as soon as you hit record, I feel like I have to call. Feel better? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What's what's in your cup? <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> what you got over there? <laughs> Something you can share? <laughs> it's chocolate. It's chocolate. <laughs> it's chocolate I milk. Drink chocolate milk. <laughs> It's just chocolate milk. <laughs> it's chocolate milk. <laughs> how how chocolatey do you like your chocolate milk? I feel like this this is a hot button topic that this most is, people. It's not chocolatey enough. Okay. I made this very quickly as I was leaving. I was yeah. torn because there was already milk in this cup, and, oh. and I was like, I either have to wash the cup completely to put water in it. Uh-huh. Or, or, or make chocolate milk. Or we make coffee. Oh. And I was like, I have um <sighs> cold brew. Yeah. In my fridge. Yeah. So I can make coffee. Uh-huh. And then I was like, it's so late. So you don't um allow the coffee to to help you sleep? With your ADHD, does that happen to you? Yeah, that, it'll knock me out. It, it knocks me out too. <laughs> Which I think is the other part that I was like, I'm not super chaotic right now. Right. Which I was like, if I drink that coffee. one, co- yeah, because mm-hmm. I've been drinking. Oh, I was drinking coffee all like all day. I didn't wake oh. up till noon. Oh, <laughs> so I didn't go to bed last night until three thirty because we didn't get home until two a.m. And then I woke up at 9 a.m. on the dot this morning. Groggy as all hell. Because I didn't get a full eight hours of sleep. And I looked at my phone and went, why am I awake? And there was no going back to sleep. It was just automatic. I I was permanently awake for the day. I think I had two cups of coffee. A protein shake. And Gatorade. That's the liquid I've consumed today. (laughs) Meal of champions. The meal of champions. I, uh, last night I was editing TikToks. Yeah. And then, um. Are you shedding? Yes. (laughs) I was editing TikToks. And then, uh, before I knew it, I heard Shroomba start. Yeah. And I was like. Wait, didn't you name your Shroomba? Well, it's a it's a shark ion robot. Its name is Shroomba. Because oh, I it's, see. Okay, okay. It's like a Roomba, but it's a shark. Yeah. So I call it Shroomba. Yeah. I got it's just it. something. Yeah. So I heard Shroomba start, and I went, oh, shit. It's 11.59, because that's what I have Shroomba set to Did run at. Start? Yeah. So I got up, and I came over, and I Brian was, like, laying in his chair asleep. Yeah. <coughs> that was loud. <laughs> that was a Sunday. That was a demon leaving my body. <laughs> was a de- no, demon leaving a body is your husband snoring. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, so I I walked over to him, and I like rubbed his leg to get him to wake up, which I've done many a times when he has fallen asleep in his chair, and he usually just like groggily wakes up. <laughs> he fucking yelled. <laughs> I remember, he goes. What? <laughs> and again, he's holding Amelia. Another demon was leaving his body. <laughs> yes. He fucking yelled. I literally sat there. I stood there and I was like, why did you yell? And he was like, you scared me. And I was like, I've woken you up like this many a times and you've never shrieked <laughs> as I woke you up. And I was demon. like, Shroomba started. And he was like, Happy New Year. <laughs> and I was Happy like, and I was like, it's not midnight yet. Like I was looking at my phone. I was like, it's 11.59. Shrimp just started. Yeah. So I waited 
And he just sat like this. <laughs> and I waited and I saw it go midnight. And I gave him a kiss and I gave Millie a kiss and I was like, Happy New Year. And I went back to editing TikToks. There you go. And that was our New Year's. We he he had something on TV. It wasn't even like any kind of New Year no. broadcast. No. He was just watching some kind of show. We were at the bowling alley and uh the one TV had New Year's Rock and Eve on. It was three minutes behind. So we were all celebrating on our own. And then we re-celebrated. Once the ball dropped on the television, it was it was fun. We had a lot of fun. I was absolutely exhausted by the time we got in the car. It was snowing on our way home, which was pretty surprising. It was raining on our way there. I didn't think it was cold enough for it to snow because it was like 36 degrees. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it snowed while we were driving home. And then I didn't get to fall asleep until about 3.30. Because, you know, so many things I have to do once you finally come home. Like shower and take care of the dogs. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Yeah, I got all my stuff done. And I also, I had a headache by the time. Like, by the time we got home from my parents' house, mm -hmm. I had a headache. And then I was just editing TikToks and doing stuff. Yeah. So then, like... After that, I was like, all right, are you going to bed? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I'll be up. So I was like, cool, I'm going to bed. So I yeah. went up and I crawled into bed. And then Mans proceeded to try to wake me up at God knows what time this morning. For uh, one of your <clears throat> sessions. And I was not happy about it. <laughs> and he, he rolled over with, okay, okay. And I went, thank you for waking me the fuck up when I have a headache. And I just battled to fall asleep. Sorry. And now you just woke me up and I still have a headache. I have moved that. And now I have to try to fall asleep again. Bullshit. It's so rude. Yeah. So, yes. I was not happy. No. Well, um, we just went on an ADHD tangent. Mm, happens. How do you like your chocolate milk? <laughs> it's not chocolate enough. So, but it's but it's but it's fine. But I feel like that's a big thing. It's like how people like their coffee, mm -hmm. how chocolatey your chocolate milk is, is a big deal. It's not, I feel like it's not super chocolatey. Cause like, here's the difference Brian will drink strawberry milk. I loved strawberry milk. Is okay. I will take, like, if I'm making a glass of strawberry, I will take like two scoops of, stra of strawberry powder. All right, and these are like tablespoons, so they're like decent size. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Brian will do like five to that for just a glass. Like and I'm a like, normal size. Like a normal size glass. glass. And I'm like two scoops. It's two scoops is perfect. Like it's like that color. That's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. Yes, and he'll add like five more to that. Oh, so it's like Barbie pink. He, yeah. Pepto Bismol? Pepto Bismol pink. Damn. And uh, I don't understand how he drinks like how he drinks that. It must be so chalky. Cause he'll look at me like if I run out of like chocolate syrup. Yeah. Because clearly I drink chocolate milk a lot. <laughs> um, uh, if I run out of chocolate syrup, I'll break into his Nesquik okay. stuff. Yeah. And he he uses the powder. He doesn't like the other stuff. The syrup? Has to be the powder. Interesting. I wonder, is it a concentration issue? Maybe. But we also get the giant containers of it from Sam's Club. Uh-huh. Um, but he... I'll make myself a glass of strawberry milk because I also, like, in this is my Ovacetol. It's my supplement for my PCOS. Yeah. Like, I mix it into it. Yeah. It's supposed to be tasteless. Okay. It's not tasteless. They I always, can taste they it. They always lie about so, things like that. Yeah. So, and he'll be like, I don't understand how you can drink, how you can drink it that diluted. Like, it hardly tastes like anything. And I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean it hardly tastes like anything? It tastes like strawberry milk. So, hot take. Smoking kills your taste buds. I think all his taste buds are dead. 
And you know that's what? Like, that's the only reason why he'll eat just meat and potatoes. Maybe. It's the only thing that he can taste. Is meat and potatoes. That's yeah, why he because vegetables over season shit too. Yeah, vegetables. Think about it. They're like us, like eighty to ninety percent water. Some more than that. So the the flavoring behind them is rather diluted, naturally. He made tacos the other night that almost killed my sciences. Oh my god! <laughs> like literally, he made taco meat, like tacos. Yeah. And uh, I made two like little ones. And I was like, oh, my God, I feel like you doubled up on the taco seasoning for this. Was it really salty? It was, like, very – it's the taco seasoning that you can get where it's, like, pre-mixed taco seasoning. Yeah, like in the package? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we can get it in tubs because of Sam's. Mm -hmm. So I feel like he just over – it was strong. Wow. Mm -mm. Maybe that's why. That could be. That's that's a, I think that's a hot take. But that's my opinion. That's a good that's it's very possible. I don't know if there's any scientific research to back that. I would love to know. But I really think that that's Yeah. Yeah. Huh. If I brought that up to him though, he'd be like, no, no, no. Well, naturally. He's going to be like, no, it's not. We should have him on here and discuss it. I'll Just do all of the research. Barter him about yeah, his I'll smoking. Do, I'll do all of the that research. That he was quitting and then... Didn't. Didn't? Yeah. I don't know. It annoys me. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> happy like Frosty birthday. the Snowman. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yes, so when this comes out, because this is our birthday episode, this will be coming out on January 7th. 7th, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My birthday is January 6th. My birthday is January 5th. How f- convenient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we, we're birth- birthday buddies. We are birthday buddies. Yes, we have on many occasions celebrated our birthdays together. Like your 21st birthday, which I don't remember. Yes. <laughs> she was there for it. I was. We are, what, a year and one day apart? Roughly a year and one day apart? Yeah. Yeah. Fair. The 21st was pretty fun. Like my 21st. You were 22nd. Yeah, I've been Even told though... it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Even <laughs> though it was at a bowling alley. Hey, man. But the the bartender was a little bit of a buzzkill, cause uh, did not uh, care to wait. No, for it to be. I mean, neither did our friends. Night. But like, no, the people we were with didn't care either. Yeah. But um, Thomas was trying so. to give me a beer when I walked in, and I was like, "Dude, I'm not 21." And he was like, "So." <laughs> I was like, literally turning. 21 I'm like, I'm literally turning 21 at midnight. Like, you don't get that. I don't care, obviously, but like, it's like a, it's a thing. It's a thing. I just don't want to drink until midnight. Yeah. So I can say I did the thing. You know what I mean? That's the one thing I know about my my 21st. Um, we went to a couple bars in Bethlehem, and the bouncer stood there holding my ID with his phone. To like celebrate before that was he some, would let me go in. That's nice because yeah. our bartender, we stood there staring at the clock, waiting for it to hit midnight. And he goes, What do you what do you want? And we were like, It's not midnight yet. Like I'm not twenty one. And he goes, I don't care. What do you want? To be fair, <laughs> I think he might have just been annoyed at the rest of the, the group that was there. <laughs> Quite a rowdy group. It was not realizing also group. that he had been serving to underage <laughs> for mo- most of the night. And yeah. Uh, we had one where there was a whole bunch of people over and we played whatever game you had that was a drinking game, but it was a whole bunch of drinking games in one big game. Is this the Ice Luge night? <gasps> yes, and I s- accidentally spit fireball into Thomas's face. <laughs> yeah. In my defense, in my defense, we were doing an ice sluge. 
Yeah. Is that was how it's pronounced? We were doing that. All right. Everyone was lining up. You had tons of little mini fireball shots. Like little, oh, little, you know, bucket. I have a funny story about that. Said bucket. You know, you can get those buckets. They're like 25 single fireball shots. That bucket was one for me at my church Christmas raffle. <laughs> I love church. <laughs> Gotta love church. Got a bucket of fireball. Is that supposed to be a reminder that you can... <laughs> You can go to hell. Fireball. Well, not only were there, you know, the buckets of fireball, there was a wine basket. There there was a beer basket. I was, I, I remember finding out wow. that I won that. Really I was damn. like, what are we doing I didn't here, know there guys? were so many alcoholics at church. If you drink wine, that is the blood of Christ. <laughs> So technically, the blood a, of wine. <laughs> oh, I'm never going to live that one down. Nope. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, you're drinking the blood of Christ, so it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, that, that that was one there. And we had to get rid of it. So yeah, yeah we, we had but, all of these. But here's shots. the thing. Everyone was doing these shots and everybody got one little bottle poured down for them. The, the, all right. Yeah. Everyone had the decency to be quiet when someone was doing one because there was so much concentration to not to let not it. let it like flow past you. Yeah, because the the opening at the bottom it was it, not it was mouth not, friendly. No. So everyone had the decency to be quiet while people were taking these shots. Thomas decided while I was taking my shot to go. You're doing good. <laughs> Which then caused me to laugh and proceed because he leaned over when he said it. He leaned <laughs> over. <You're doing laughs> yeah. He's like, you're doing you're... <laughs> Proceeded to get me to spit fireball. Everywhere. Everywhere, including his face. Yeah. He deserved it for that. And I was like, I mean, seriously? I was like, everyone was so quiet for everybody else. We, we were hoping that she would complete the shot. We were all rooting for her to do it. Leave it to Tom to fuck something up. Like I know, that. right? That's really funny. I completely forgot about that. And then, like, um, Logan got you a birthday cake, and you immediately went for, like, your biggest knife. <laughs> and, like, was sharpening it in front of everybody. And I was like, damn, she's been drinking. This is not a good idea. <laughs> but, yeah, we played a lot of... It was, like, a... I don't even know what that game was. It was just a lot of mini drinking <clears throat> games because there was flip cup in it. I think we still have beer it. pong, <clears throat> but it was literally just a whole bunch of mini drinking games because you didn't play the whole game. Oh, it was like you play one round of said game. Mm-hmm. Got it. So it was like flip cup. It was like you only had to flip, like we each had to flip a cup or something, and then that was it. Like you yeah. weren't like going down and yeah, yeah. Hmm. Wow. But it was fun, and then because that was the same night too, that um, it snowed. Geralt's first snow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll see if I can find a video. Because it was like right after midnight that it started snowing. Yeah. Because we sang "Happy Birthday to You" at like eleven fifty something. Yeah. And then sang "Happy Birthday to Me" at midnight. Yeah. That was fun. It's crazy how uh, how far we've come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've had other birthday plans since, though, that have been foiled. Yeah. We were supposed to go uh, snow tubing. Mm-hmm. Foiled. Excuse me. <laughs> Ghost of Christmas Pass. <laughs> Steve. Chill. Can you not? <laughs> um, yeah, we were supposed to go snow tubing. But we haven't gotten, like... A whole lot of snow. No. So go snow too, thing. No. Um, it's supposed to snow. It's supposed to snow next weekend. On on Sunday. Yeah. They said Saturday night into Sunday. It's supposed to snow. Well, maybe we're going snow tubing next weekend. Now. Um, yeah. Drop Amelia off at my mom's. Yeah. But Logan's mom uh, got us tickets for Christmas to go snow tubing, and her and David are coming with. 
that's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I think so. Mainly too. David. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be entertaining. But no, it's, uh, it's kind of strange. Who would have thunk it? Yeah. Anybody that went to high school with us wouldn't have thought it. No. <laughs> no. You hated me. <laughs> She hated me. We met in high school. Um, I was a junior. You were a senior. Now I can say we met 10 years ago. We're old as shit. Yeah. Um, Well, you're not. I am. (laughs) You will always be (laughs) old (laughs) to me. Shut up. Always one year closer to 30 than I am. (laughs) Um, but no, we met, we met in high school, um, cause we had a mutual friend. We will call that mutual friend. Kathy. Uh, Kathy. only because we don't know whether or not she wants her name to be yeah. out there. That's not a real name. It's not a real name. No. Um, and then we have another mutual friend and his name is A.A. Ron. And we have always just called him A.A. Ron. So. It's also obviously not real name, <laughs> but <laughs> um, I knew them because of Color Guard. We did Color Guard together, and that's how we were friends. They were both a year ahead of me, um, but we met because obviously with Color Guard, you meet everybody. Everybody. <laughs> um, and you knew them because of orchestra. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You would orchestra with them. Yeah. Um, Going into, like, the second half of the year. Uh, Your lunch switched. My lunch switched. Yeah. So then I had to find other people to sit with. And Kathy and Yvonne happened to be in the same lunch period. And we're like, hey, come sit with us. Our friend Natalie is there, too. You can sit with the three of us. And yeah. I was like, ah, oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah. So I came to sit with them. One lunch period. <laughs> One. And I I turn to Kathy and I go, no, nah, I don't want to sit with you guys. She's a bitch. <laughs> you met me once. One time. You didn't even give me a chance. <laughs> and we proceeded to, I, I then moved and I sat at a different table <clears throat> for the rest of that semester, which was the same Lunch period though. You were just like where five tables down. It was. I was at like the I was by the stairs. Yeah. Um the same lunch where that kid we had had so many food fights. Food fights mm-hmm. that year that administration got kind of pissy and was like, that's it. Next person to start a food fight. Anyone to be involved in one, it's an instant suspension, like no questions asked. This kid, <laughs> this kid got up in the middle of lunch with a milk carton and threw it as hard as he could at our cinder block wall. Now, our lunch room is kind of like an open area with a loft in it. Yeah. All right, we sat in the loft where there are like benches. Mm-hmm. Perfect booths. viewing spot. For any, yeah, yeah, basically, (laughs) that's what I love doing the most. (laughs) Me too. (laughs) Um, And uh, he threw it at the cinder block wall where it exploded, and then silence, as no one did a damn thing. After yelling, didn't he yell food fight? He did. He stood up. He yelled food fight. Threw it at the cinder block wall, and then he would. Then it was just silent, and he stood there. And waited. So disappointed. Yeah. And all of us were like, we're not doing anything Amen. because they literally had just made a huge announcement about if you get caught in a food fight, it's an instant suspension. Because the food fight just prior to that were like some major injuries. Like yeah. some people got really hurt. Yep. Tables <laughs> were being flipped. And at the time, we didn't really, we didn't have the long, they now have the, the long tables with the benches. They didn't have those. No. They had like round ones. With and, chairs. Yeah. And um, 
And they were like actual chairs that like separated from the so like people were picking up chairs from and chairs tipping trays. the tables over and so intense. so yeah it got really serious but that was so we both witnessed that happening yeah the same I'm same sure I understand. nobody <laughs> asked you sir the words that it heard me say were really serious but no <laughs> that's what it nobody asked you. Yeah, so then we then proceeded to not interact for the rest of that year Mm -hmm. or really the following year because I went off to college. It was your senior year. And then once you graduated, your boyfriend at the time left to go to school, Mm -hmm. but then ended up coming back a couple months later and got a job where I worked. Yeah. Logan at KFC. And uh, the two of them became close. They, they became friends. Pokemon Go became a thing. Oh, yeah. And um, they started getting, like, really into doing Pokemon Go. And you and I had gone a couple of times, but never really hung out together. Until you guys invited us over for like dinner and stuff once you moved in together. Yeah. And then we started actually doing things together, getting to actually know each other. We hung out just by ourselves a couple of times. Like we went and got our nails done and stuff. But mm-hmm. um, it really wasn't until you moved out and you two broke up that we got close. We got really close. Yeah. Yeah. So I would come over often. With just like bags of makeup, and we would sit and do our makeup and eat wa- Taco Bell, eat Taco Bell <laughs> watch Jeffree Star. Yeah. And then I also started playing The Witcher. You guys were playing The Witcher. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. We started bonding over video games and makeup and ADHD issues. Yeah. Mental health problems. <laughs> Mental health problems. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And then. Eventually, one day, I um, got engaged, and I asked this one to be my maid of honor. Yeah. We do need to tell a story about your wedding at some point. Yeah. We, we, should, we should do that for an episode. You have um, an interesting thing that happened at your wedding, too. I have a couple of interesting things. <laughs> There's a lot of interesting things that happened <laughs> at your wedding. Discussed. <laughs> um, and then I got engaged and I asked you to be one of my bridesmaids. Technically, Amelia was a honorary bridesmaid because you were eight months pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And yeah, now here we are. We're whirlwind. I know, right? Yeah. A lot happened in 10 years. Good God. I can't believe that's 10 years, though. I know. That doesn't feel like 10 years since high school. Since I graduated. Oh, my God. You're so old. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. I will age with grace (laughs) and dignity. So I've been hiding in my purse. And because I've been hiding. Um... Oh, yeah, you know what? That This would be great. This would be wonderful. Let me show it to the camera first. Because we have talked about something related to this. Uh-oh. And, well, um, okay, wait. We talk about a lot of things. Oh, well, you'll know when you see it. Okay. You'll know when you see it. Boy, I hit my microphone. You hit Philip? Yes, I'm sorry, Philip. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh, my God. What is this? What it what what is it is the unofficial spell book for Harry Potter. And there are wand instructions. I have the unofficial cookbook for Harry Potter. <clears throat> oh my god, this is incredible. Pause for ADHD break. (laughs) Always check to see if muggles have blocked their chimneys. 
Why? Why? Does it turn you into Santa Claus? Why are you going down a muggle's chimney? In Cosserus. To conjure ropes that bind the target. Down their chimney? <laughs> or like through their chimney? What are you using that for? <clears throat> um. Notes. This is likely the spell Snape uses in Prisoner of Azkaban to attack Lupin in the Shrieking Shack. But what does that have to do with chimneys? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I think it's in the wrong spot. So it's listed here, but I think it's supposed to be done with this spell. This one makes more sense. Incendio, which is to conjure a fire. Oh. But you see, it's up here. Yeah. Instead of down here. So they wrote it, like, above it. Yeah. They should have put an arrow. Mm-hmm. But that's just, you know. It's, it's who's ever... Like, it's how whoever did this makes their notes. Yeah. Well, I'm critiquing your note-taking. So, um, there's a thing on TikTok that I keep seeing okay. that I, like, kind of want to buy, but I also am uh, almost... I'm like, mm, it might be a waste of money. Plus, mm -hmm. it's not like I don't really need it because I don't need my husband at my ass any more than he already is. Mm -hmm. um, but it's called pheromone perfume. I have seen that all over the place. I'm, I am I don't understand. What is the... And neither do I. Supposedly, it's supposed to, like, make your natural scent more. How? How does it do that? I don't know. I don't, don't know. know what you smell like. But then I see videos of people who are like, girls are like trying it on. And then they'll like, and I don't know whether or not it's real or not. But then sometimes I'm like, there's no way some of these men are great actors like that. And well, just. So it is an interesting thing, like a very intriguing thing. I'm, I'm, I've been intrigued by it for the sole reason that <clears throat> on numerous occasions, People have told me I smell good, you included. Yeah. That I have my own scent. You do have your own and scent. I did I never understood what you guys were talking about. Um My dogs even think you smell good. Yeah. Because they tried to take that sweater that I brought home that one day. Yeah. I I don't um I, I don't get it. I like I understand like Logan has a scent. I know what he smells like, but it's usually from him like it's sweat. Yeah. But they say that like that's a man that's a man's thing though. It's like when they sweat. Have you ever seen that video? No. There's like a video out there of they line all these guys up. They had just recently made them like run or something. So they're all like a little bit sweaty. Yeah. Like not disgustingly, but like enough to like you can smell them. Yeah. And then they had um women go through and literally just sniff them. <laughs> And I don't necessarily remember if these women knew these men and if it was, like, one of those where, like, they had to try to find their oh. significant other. Oh. Which would be that interesting. Would be that would be interesting. Or if it was, like, a pick which one ever, which one you're most attracted to by scent. Because if you think about it, tell us what in, like, like, the animal kingdom. That's how it works. That's a lot of how a lot of it works. Is obviously they don't look at each other and go... That well, one's hot. Like, well, no, it's I it's mean, like a... Have, have you seen birds? Male birds? Is it the dancing? They dance. <laughs> yeah, they do a whole, whole dance. Peacocks are all, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I watch a lot of nature documentaries. <laughs> like, clearly. <laughs> it's, it's a problem. But that's that's a big thing. And, um, like, deer do the same think they'll fight each other yeah that's why they have antlers so. yeah why do you think they use and, uh like uh doe pee yeah to attract bucks yeah because it's a smell it's thing a smell. they smell yeah wow. can you imagine that <laughs> a man being attracted to you based because. off the smell of your pee <laughs> hey babe i love your perfume oh thanks it's my pee <laughs> Ew. Good God. That would be so gross. Yeah. 
But yeah, no, like that's. But then I see some people that are like, this is not real because humans don't do the whole pheromone thing. Like that's we an animalistic produce, thing. Yeah, like we don't. Somebody, I don't know. Someone said like that's a whole animalistic thing. I'm like, technically, we are fucking animals. So I don't know. But what the, to tell you? The question is, people have sense. Mm-hmm. So, so doesn't that indicate a pheromone thing? thing? Yeah. Right. Like, like what, what else would it be? Just a combination of my detergent and dryer sheets. It has, yeah, it has to be something that like naturally comes from your body. Yeah, because you guys, you have my clothes in your car. You were like, my car smelled like you for days. It did. It did. My car smelled like you for a long time. Well, that made, I was like, you mean my But clothes? here's the other thing. Here's the other thing that's like an argument like towards it. That it's definitely a thing. All right. Like if I work out do something or just you know it's been a long day i've been running around a lot yeah this is gonna i was this isn't even gonna surprise you about my husband brian oh will lay down and just lay his head on my lap just to smell me <laughs> it's just 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 for that scent and i'm like i'm sweaty i don't understand why you're doing this and he is not ashamed of it by any means. Let me get this straight. <clears throat> Your husband will put his head on your hoo-ha after you've been running around all day just because of how it smells? Yes. What probiotics are you taking? <laughs> Let me, let me tell you this. If I work out at home. What does it smell like? If, I don't because know. they do have different odors. They do smell differently. Yeah. Mine is very floral. <laughs> and to the point that, like, I notice it. And I'm like, oh. Well, well, well so, like, if I work out at home yeah. and I get, like, super sweaty. Yeah. All right. As soon as I'm done, I beeline it for the shower. I'm the same way. But I do it not because I'm like, oh, I feel disgusting. I need to take a shower. I do it because my husband will be on my fucking ass. Oh. Because I have a couple me notes. being sweaty and gross is like a, turn on. a huge turn on for him. I have always, <clears throat> first thing, been a person that like after I'm done working out, I need to get a shower. I have really sensitive skin. So I break out very easily. And so I, you know, will we'll come home from the gym. I am the first one in the shower. And I don't take like a lukewarm or cold shower. I want to look like a lobster by the end of my shower. Okay? To know that I am good. Logan can't do that. He has to wait to cool himself down before because he feels like he's going to overheat. And he even still will take like a lukewarm to cold shower yeah however with that said gym sex has always been an intriguing thing for me so i kind of it has to do with the like i kind of understand his reason it's a scent thing though it's definitely what it is it's a smell thing oh i just think it would be fun no it has nothing to do with like well, I mean, like, me, I don't know. It's Being sweaty might be one thing. Situational. But, like, yeah. No, he'll, like, get up. I'll, I'll come up from, because I obviously set up the basement more for that. And, he, like, I'll come up. And if he, especially back when I was doing Insanity. Oh, my God. If he, like, insanity. made eye contact with me and I was, like, literally dripping, he'd be like, and I'd be like, nope, no, nope, nope, no. nope. <laughs> I was like, do you know what, what I just did? You want to think? Think, you think I after I just exercise like that? I'm exhausted. I want to take a shower. I don't want some protein shake. I, I want to relax. My entire body hurts. He'll get up in the morning. He'll take a bath. Because he's old and he needs to, you know, loosen up muscles and stuff. So he'll take a bath. All right. I need to get up. 
I will sit there because he's still in the bathroom. And I will sit there and I will wait for him to get out of the fucking bathroom. Because he's still in there. And he won't come out until like 7.15, 7.30. And I'm like, sir, you are hogging the bathroom. Now, he's taking a hot bath. Okay, he does not run the fan. So if I open up that door, I get hit by nothing but steam. Everything is soaking wet. Ew. The countertops will be covered in water. Every like all of my shit will be covered in water because he steams the shit out of the bathroom at the same time. That will allow mold to fester. Mm-hmm. So then I have one of those things, the containers in the closet. That is supposed to absorb moisture. Mm -hmm. So I have that in the closet with all of the towels and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then after he gets out of there, I finally, I turn the fan on. I leave everything open so that everything can fully dry. But I'm like, do you like not understand like what you're doing? And then so like now all of my makeup is in Amelia's bathroom. And I'm very attempt, very, very tempted to move all of my shit to her bathroom. And just start, like, showering in her bathroom and just getting ready in her bathroom in general so that, like, I can wake up and actually use the fucking bathroom at 7 o'clock in the morning and not be waiting for him to stroll out of the bathroom at 7.15. Because he'll be like, well, you can come in. I'm like, oh, yeah, because I want to come in to a fucking sauna at 7 o'clock in the morning. It's the complete opposite of an ice bath. That's the normal thing to do in the morning. Yeah. Why would you want to be in a sauna that early in the morning? Because his muscles and his back are so bad that he has to, like, peel himself. It's from all the years in construction mm-hmm. that, like, his, his back muscles and everything are just so bad. That he, like, almost has to take a bath in order to actually move during the day. I hope that doesn't happen to me. But what I don't understand is... I I hope I don't have issues with my back like that. That would suck. What I don't understand is why can't he, like, do it in her bathroom or something? Because she's a tub. Yeah. Like, leave our bathroom alone and, like, go do it in her bathroom or something. I don't know. Because the other morning, I was waiting for him to get out of the bathroom. And then he gets out of the bathroom, and I'm rushing around, and he's trying to, like, hand her off to me. And I'm like, no. And I'm handing her back. And after this point, like, she has been, um, like, changed and everything. And I have a bottle made for her. And I put her in her – then I I put her in her car seat then. And I was like, this is where she's going. And I put her in the car seat, and I gave her her bottle because he's downstairs, like, doing stuff. And he's like, what? And I was like, I have to go take a shower. You've been hogging the bathroom for the past two fucking hours. What do you expect me to do? And then he'll be like, well, you could have came in and told me I would have gotten out. And I was like, oh, yeah, it would have taken you 30 minutes to get out of the fucking bathroom for me to finally go in. So I'm so I'm so tempted to just move all my shit into Amelia's bathroom. I would. And just start taking a shower in there and just getting ready in there. I would. Because, like. Yeah, I would. And then he's going to, I know exactly, I know exactly what's going to happen. He's going to be like, oh, well, like, why don't you ever just tell me? And I'm like, why can't you just not do this shit? And I was like, because I would like to be able to get up in the morning and, like, get ready to go to work. And not have to fight to get into the bathroom. Like I'm living with a 17-year-old girl from high school who's doing her makeup in the morning. I don't have this problem. I'm telling you, our next house, there needs to be a separate bath. There needs to be a separate area for like the shower and the tub. Like it needs to be in a completely different room. To get ready for bed. Like, I'll go into the bathroom 
I shower typically at night unless I went to the gym that, mm-hmm. that day because I like to, you know, go to bed clean. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I got to take off my makeup, do my skincare routine, oil my scalp. You know, like I got a, I got a whole thing. I got a routine. I'll go in there and I hear Logan go, well, Gar, it's our Geralt, uh, our dog. <laughs> well, Gar. I'll see your mom in 45 minutes. And it's like, but sir, sir. Do you like having a pretty wife? Do you want to keep having a pretty wife? Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Do you want to still be married to that pretty wife? Shut, Shut your mouth. <laughs> Let me go and have, because I'm like relaxing, you know, like I'll listen to my audiobook while I'm washing my face and mm-hmm. You know, and it's... Oh, my God. It We'll, we'll get there. But it, I understand it takes me a while. But, like, again, I have super sensitive skin. I wear makeup. I have to wash my face more than once. I have to at least double cleanse. And then we're talking toner. Sorry, 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 Mel. Sorry. Toner, serum, and essence. Moisturizer, eye cream. I'm getting older. I'm 28 now. <laughs> I uh, retinol, so I don't get fucking wrinkles in my 30s. <laughs> you know, like I, I have a routine, and then I have very thin, brittle hair, and I have a thyroid problem, so I struggle with hair loss. It's a real deal, and it sucks. Um, and my hair breaks, so I started oiling my scalp and microneedling my scalp because it's supposed to help promote a healthy hair follicle and help circulate blood flow to your scalp. And it takes a while mm-hmm. to do that because think about, think about it. Like you ever see those microneedling tools? Yeah, they're tiny. This and I gotta. It's my whole head. It's not as big as his head. <laughs> He's got it. He's got a big head, but it still takes me a while to do it. And he'll, he'll, he bitches about it. But that's the only thing that he bitches about. And then I come out of the, the bathroom and I lay down. I get my blanket to crochet because I'm a grandma. And then we start watching YouTube and but then, TV shows. Then that's the thing. So like, um, so like today I was running around cleaning up. I still haven't finished cleaning up. Because I was working on that while you were texting me today. <laughs> and um, I still need to like mop and finish vacuuming downstairs. But I got pretty much everything put away. Um, I was running around doing that stuff. And then he's talking to me. And I turn around. And I pause. And I was like, what? And he's like. He's like, did you. Uh, he's like. It's going on about something. And I was like, I didn't hear anything that you just said. Mm -hmm. And he's like, what? And I was like, I heard nothing that you just said because I've been listening to the audiobook. You're going to need to repeat yourself. Yeah. And then he said whatever stupid thing that he had said. And I went. Good for you. Good for you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yep. Like, why? I deal with that all the time. And then I'm running around and I'm 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 washing because I'm like, I had to strip her mattress, strip like the cover, like the, it's the cover. It's a Newton baby mattress, so it's it's very interesting. It's not like a normal mattress. Mm-hmm. The inside is like this weird fibery thing that you can literally like take out, put in your shower, and rinse. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, they're very interesting. Like it's not a normal mattress. Um, and so I was stripping it because. Mac, our dachshund miniature poodle, decided to piss on her mattress and on her crib because he was mad. And now this is also me retorting back and being angry at my husband because he left him upstairs unsupervised and he chewed up another pair of my fucking underwear and I'm pissed about it. And I proceeded to go, what the fuck is this? And he goes, well, he also peed in Amelia's room. I'm like, why did he pee in Amelia's room? And then I'm going around looking at all these different shit that he did upstairs and tore up. And I, then I turn around to my husband and I go, how long was he up here for? How long did you leave it? Because we have a gate at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. How long did you leave him upstairs unattended for? Because they eat upstairs. And he goes, 
oh, uh, like 30 minutes. I said, it doesn't take those dogs 30 minutes to eat. You could have gave them 10 minutes and then gone up. And if they weren't done eating in 10 minutes, then they don't get to finish eating because they're fucking dogs. They house the shit, especially Alaska houses her food. It does not take Mac more than 10 minutes to eat his tiny less than half of a cup of food because he's a tiny dachshund and he doesn't eat much as it is. And Juniper's food stays in her kennel. So if she doesn't finish, she'll come back for it later because that's how she is. We just went full circle. Even your dogs like the smell of your vagina. Oh my God. We had this conversation the other day, my husband and I, because we were leaving and he was like, make sure you put your stuff away. Make sure you put this and that away. And I was like, um, no. Because because I had left out like a packet of underwear sitting okay. out okay. on top of like my side table. And he was like, well, that's, this is how they get a hold of the shit. I said, no, it isn't because those are brand new and clean and they only like the smell of my vagina. So, no, they, they, I have to warn it for them to go after it. Yeah. And they will tip over my fucking hamper. hamper to get to the shit. Today, today I was finishing up my makeup. All right, all the dogs were downstairs. Brian came upstairs to give her a bath and do whatever. Apparently, Juniper decided to take it upon herself to go in my hamper and pull out a pair of spandex shorts that I have. So I usually either sleep in them or I just wear them around the house or exercise with them. And I have a pole in my room, obviously, so I wear them for some sort of reason. Yeah. My, like, pretty much brand new pair. They're red, like red, red. Chew them. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, this is why now I have Hanes and Reebok and I just have like, I hard, I don't really own any Victoria's Secret underwear anymore because they keep killing it. And then he'll be like, and then he'll say something to me and be like, well, this is why mom has all old lady underwear because because of you dogs. And I'm like, um, yeah, the dogs, but also because you Fucking let them up here all the time. You forget to close the gate or you leave them up here with you and you don't pay attention as to what they're doing. I have literally been sitting next to him and one of the dogs is just on the other side of him. And I'd be like, what do they have? And he's like, huh? What? And I'm like, do you not fucking notice? Two feet from you, on the other side of you, one of the dogs has something in their fucking mouth, and you don't notice it? What? (laughs) He's like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? And I'm like, can you get it, please? Nine times out of ten, it's Juniper who has stolen one of Amelia's pacifiers and has chewed it up. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how you guys do it. I'm exhausted just listening to all of this. It's pure woman's rage that flows through me most days that keeps this is me why going. They need to send us off to war. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll we'll put a fucking stop to it. Yeah, seriously. I might not, but she will. I know I, I, sh- I know how to shoot a gun. Uh, I don't have the rage. I have plenty of rage. Well, do uh do you want to discuss book talk next week? Um, we can. Okay. We can discuss book talk next week. I just finished that. I just finished haunting and I just started hunting. hunting. I, um, just so everybody knows that we're on, what we're on. I am currently on chapter 23. I have seven hours and like 20 nope seven hours and eight minutes left and i will be completed with that i am currently on tomorrow chapter seven okay i'm yeah. literally at the beginning of chapter seven all right well we'll we'll discuss it next week mm-hmm. is there anything else that uh you want to talk about any other things going on no i've queued up a few things Okay. Cool. I queued up. Uh, well, I guess you put in like your what your wish list or whatever. Yeah, I have some stuff in my wish list too. Uh, the, the ritual. ritual. Yep. I guess that one's next on the list for us to do. Oh yeah, I have twisted love in there. No, you have to shallow river because I already. What is this too. from my wish list? 
I don't remember adding this. What is that? Neon Gods? What's that about? Dark Olympus. Oh, it's something Hades related. <laughs> it's something because this has to have been back when I was look at, looking for things. Okay. I'm Book gonna, one, which means here. there's more than one. Romantic, ancient Greek, Greek mythology. Well, I guess that's all we have for this week. Enjoy your week. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, do the things. Mm-hmm. Listen us- on YouTube and Spotify. Yeah, you can watch us on YouTube. Listen on Spotify now. Um, give us ideas on things you want us to, to talk about. Please give us book recommendations. I'm looking to expand my collection. My if there's also collection. any little sections from books that you want us to listen to and react to, and react to yeah. um, we can do that. Even if we don't necessarily play the audio here, uh, I have AirPods. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> each one will have an AirPod, and you can watch, watch and hear our commentary as we react to something. Um, we are planning on working on a couple different series things. I guess so they would be like classified as playlists on YouTube, but they're going to be different series. Is that even a word? Series? It is now. Series? Hobbitses? Series? Hobbitses? It's like, is it like... Is it like moose? Or is it like moose? Or like the plural of moose is moose? Maybe. And not like meese. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, maybe. So, I guess, yeah, series. Um... We're going to get to work on those. And yeah, I guess that's it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. (laughs) Hopefully we don't have to re-record anything. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Again. Yeah. Bye, guys.